It's another absolutely frigid day here in Chicago, so some comfort food like chili dogs will really hit the spot. Now this is interesting. I've never had this happen before, but check this out. My grill cover is frozen to the grill, but I really want my chili dogs, so I shall persevere. Look at this. It is frozen into a solid sheet. Crazy, isn't it? Look at this. And now to check out my Weber Q itself. And yeah, it looks pretty frosty. I hope that this grill can still start up normally. Okay, and it does. In cold weather like this, you're gonna have to let your grill preheat for a little bit longer. So I'm gonna let this go for about 20 minutes. After preheating, it looks like my grill is running normally, so I'm gonna dial the gas knob down to a low heat and add some hot dogs directly across the grill grates. If you watched my Chicago style hot dogs video, you know that I normally prefer to parboil my hot dogs than finish them on the grill, but it is so cold out here, it's just gonna be easier to cook them direct. The key when cooking with this method, however, is to be sure to use a low heat. This will make them less likely to crack or split on the grill. That said, check on your hot dogs every three minutes or so and rotate them on the grill so that it gets some even cooking and even char. These hot dogs are already fully cooked in package, so really all I'm doing is making sure they are nice and warmed up throughout. Do this a couple times throughout your cook. Now, depending on what brand of hot dogs you purchased and how large they are, after about six to eight minutes of cooking time, they should be ready to come on off the grill. And you'll see my hot dogs today have taken on some nice color and some nice sear, so they're ready to come off. If you look closely, the skin of these hot dogs are starting to bubble up a little bit, so it's good that they're coming off now any longer and they may risk bursting. You don't want that. At this point, you're gonna to wanna to toast up some buns and once they are toasted, let's assemble our chili dogs. So skipping ahead about a minute or two, you'll see I have added one cooked link to each toasted bun. Now, here come our toppings. For chili dogs, of course, we're first going to add the chili. You can use any brand of prepared chili that you like, or you can make your own. I'm using a hearty leftover homemade chili from the previous night. I'll leave a recipe for homemade chili in the description below. Once these dogs have been loaded up with the chili of your choice, it's time to add on some typical chili toppings. For me, this begins with some diced raw red onions, and as with any topping you add to any food, use as much or as little as you like. I'm also now going to add some freshly grated cheddar cheese because you gotta have delicious melty cheese in your chili, right? Some folks might like to add some sour cream or some jalapenos to it, but for me, these are ready to enjoy. So like I said before, on a frigid day here in Chicago, some comfort food is much needed. Mmm, it just warms you up to the core. Here's another look at chili dogs made on a Weber Q on a cold Chicago winter day. Give this very simple recipe a try and let me know how it goes for you. Thank you very much as always for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you all again next week.